be getting into raw cooking with Zane. What we're going to do today is make a delicious quick apple and beetroot smoothie. Now, this one's a really good one. Again, I'm making this smoothie because I've had lots of people ask me lately what, um, or how easily the Optum blenders can actually blend these hard kinds of ingredients. So I am going to chop it up into wedges. Both the apples and the beetroot seem to float a little bit and so it's easier if they're actually chopped up for the blender to uh, blend them. Not because the blades can't blend them, but because they sit in the water above the line of the blade. So just chop them up into little wedges. The cucumber can go in as it is, and you can put a half a lemon in uh, with or without skin. Now I think it's a bit bitter with skin on, but some people like it. So I'm going to pop that lid off and put it aside. We've got the lemon, we've got the cucumber, those softer ingredients going in first, the softer handful of parsley going in first, and our harder ingredients up on top in there. Now beetroot's a great ingredient to um, consume. It's absolutely fantastic with its health properties. It's actually got loads of iron in it, but it's also got loads of vitamin C. It is a bit of a sweeter, it's got some fructose in there as well, but what happens is that the vitamin C helps the iron to be absorbed, so I love that about the beetroot. I'm going to put about one cup of coconut water in. You can also put apple juice in. So if you want to use your Optimum 400 juicer and make some apple juice, put a cup of apple juice in. If you feel or you're feeling a bit brave, you could also pop a garlic in there if you use apple juice and use it um, to help bite, fight colds and flus, etc. So we've got all of the ingredients in there. I am going to take the lid plug out all together at the top and I'm going to grab a tamper from down here in my collection and pop it in just to make sure that I can easily get it going. Once it's going I'll take the tamper out and pop the lid plug right in. So turn it on on this side, on low, turn it up to high, blend until it's ready and off we go. <laughs> Remembering that the Optimum 9400, 9200 as well can heat the food. You don't want to over blend, but you do want to ensure that you blend enough that you get a nice creamy and smooth consistency. Mm. So I've done that there. If you want to make sure that there's no heating going on in the smoothie, you can also add some ice cubes. Or you can put some ice cubes in the cup and pour your smoothie over the top. But this one is delish absolutely healthy, absolutely great for you and so easy to make. So really easy to make those hard ingredients into a completely smooth liquid but make sure that you do add enough liquid to mix when you're blending. Make sure that you use the tamper to get it started. Don't over blend, add ice to make sure it doesn't heat up. There's all the tips for blending hard foods in the Optimum Blenders. So uh, that's it for me today. If you do love the Optimum Blender, go down the bottom and subscribe to the Fruity TV channel. And if you don't have one yet, get onto the local Fruity website to you. Ciao for now.